So I'll just say uh, the first beer is Clown Shoes. It's a beer called Hammer of the Holy from 2018. And it's a Imperial Stout aged rum barrels. And I picked Clown Shoes because, well, the Hammer of the Holy is kind of like, this game is sort of like demons and angels fighting each other. So Hammer of the Holy seemed to go well with that kind of theme. And then the developers are called Shiny Shoes. So what's, you know, Clown Shoes, they, they're shiny, right? So I thought it was a fun little pairing, so I did that. But uh, I played this game um, for a little while, and I've unlocked one of the new factions. Um, so I think I think I'll try that uh, in this run, and just see like how that feels. Um, let me know in the comments, whoever's on, uh, how how things sound. If you can hear me, if you can hear the game, if the air conditioner is too loud, give me some feedback on that. But I'm going to start this run here. Right. So the new clan is this one, the Umbra, which I've never played. Oh, they're like a, they're like some kind of dark demon or something. The Umbra Shroud. Okay, so these guys probably have some kind of maybe some kind of stealth mechanic or something. But anyway, uh, Stygian has been my favorite so far with all the spells, all the synergies there. But I think I'll try a combo of, like, these guys and the Awoken. We'll just see how we do there. Um, I'm going to try Covenant rank 1. I I've, I've not been able to beat this, so we'll see how this goes. But, yeah, so let's just get started. I hope you're drinking with me. Cheers. Grab a beer if, if not. All right, so that's good. Here we go, get started here. Oh yeah. So let's see if our relics, what our choices are here. Um, you know what, the, the two damage one between floors, I've, I've used that one before and it's, it's pretty good. Um, But summoning a second unit... See, that's the thing is, I don't know this new Umbra faction. I don't know... I don't know if they're, like, unit heavy, like uh, the hell the Hellbound ones are. Um, that's pretty powerful. All right, I'll take this. I'll tell you what, I'll just... I'm pretty much going to always have two units probably coming out. So, yeah, so... Huh. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the extra uh, floor space. I think that seems pretty good. Okay, let's go. Cheers. Yeah. So, uh, see this trial. I when it's when money is the reward for the trial. I'm a little bit hesitant to do it, especially on um, the covenant rank. Or I forget, uh, yeah, Covenant, that's what it's called. Um, but Spikes 3, it's, uh, you know what, I'm playing with a new faction, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it safe and not go for that. Alright, so, I'm thinking, I don't know which floor would make sense to have the more capacity. Oh, interesting. So I can keep adding... I can keep adding... I can keep stacking units in one of the cars here, so... Uh, he does a lot of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and just put him in here. And, uh... Get these guys to... <laughs> What's up? Okay, Swizzle, what up, man? Cheers, butter. <laughs> Thanks for checking this out. Oh man. <laughs> I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? Ah, uh, so okay, let's see if we can uh <laughs> K Swizzle, have you played Slay, Slay the Spire? 
If you know that game, you'll get you'll get this game. Oh, okay, so it's a it's a deck builder slash boss rush slash tower defense. I think is the best way I could describe this game. But uh, Slay the Spire is just a deck builder roguelite. Actually, this has roguelike elements too, but uh, uh, let me see. Oh, interesting. Morsels are eater. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like Dominion. The deck building aspect, at least. Um, but there's a lot of combat in this. Shit. Well. Let's put them out there. This unit is eaten by the front non-morsel unit after the next round of combat. All right. Let me see. Well, I'll kill this guy for the money. <laughs> Take care of that. Interesting. All right. Let's see how we do here with this. You try the beer? Yeah. yeah. Right. I think it's good. Chuck. What's up? <laughs> you mean chuckle duckles? Chuckle duckles. Oh, holy shit. Alright. I see that. Yeah, Chuck, have you not played this? It's awesome, man. Ah, uh, shit. I gotta, um. I gotta get a little morsel guy out here. So here, I see the synergy now with this, with this, uh. With this faction, you put these morsel dudes out there, and then you make you cannibalize them, and you get the benefits. So th this is cool. I'm gonna play around with this. Holy shit! Um, well, let's see. Put him there. Kill one of them. Yeah. So this is your core um, at the top of the train here, the fourth floor. You have to try to stop the enemies from getting to this point, they'll attack it. And you can see it's got 80 health, but it does 20 damage. So these guys would die, but they would still do, they still do 10 or no, a little bit of damage to the uh, core. Yeah, yeah, sort of like a tower defense boss rush game melded with like a deck builder. Um, so uh, let's, let's get him healed up. And then I think damage shield would be good. Let's do that. Uh, he's not injured. So I'll put one of these guys out in front of him. So he'll get healed if he dies. And that's all I'm going to do for this turn. A game for what? Yeah, I mean, if you like board games, card games, this game uh, definitely, I think, would appeal to you. I mean, it certainly does to me. And uh, I don't know, K-Swizzle, if you can see, but I'm re repping ATL right now with this glass. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Those of you who joined a little late, uh, we're drinking clown shoes. Uh, it's a beer called Hammer of the Holy. And it's a rum barrel aged Imperial Stout, and it's pretty tasty. 2018 bottle, too. Okay, so... Uh, so far... I haven't had the need to really expand the floors, so I hope I hope to get a lot more units um, coming up here. Uh, see, that doesn't really help me. I mean, they will they will slow down damage. So I guess I just use them. Yeah, so I'm gonna um, let's see if that'll do anything, and then up here, ah, there's no point in playing anything else. No, uh, case okay, Swizzle, no advantage to playing all the cards, but uh, certain, I think there are certain uh, relics that might actually give you a, a boost if you do. It's hard to explain because like there's. 
there's synergies between the two factions. You're allowed to pick two factions every run. So there's synergy there, and then there's synergy with the cards. Um, so you have to kind of figure out optimal things you can do to kind of get the most out of it. This is like, uh, in Slay the Spire, you get, uh, you can get curse cards in your deck. So these purge cards are sort of the same thing. You have to... Oh yeah? Okay, I can do that. Yeah, the audio in this game is actually pretty loud as is, so... Um, I already had it turned down, but I turned down a little bit more. The pain train! <laughs> Gouda, what's up? <laughs> Thanks for joining, man. So I'm going to play this Purge because I don't want my Pyre to take any damage from that. Oh, I'm going to definitely uh, do this. Sacrifice that guy. Okay, sweet. So basically, I want... Okay, so we want... Uh, let's see. I'm going to do this guy first. Uh, we'll do... Actually, so I, I put these guys in a certain order. I wanted him to get the extra attack first, and then he gets a shield from this one because they're going to get killed in this order. So uh, I, I decided to do that to do a little strategizing. Oh, weird. Are they just... What ate them? I don't know. All right, that was kind of weird. I don't know if they're eating every turn or... Yeah, uh, Gouda, this is my first run with this faction. I've been, uh, I unlocked it a couple days ago, but I was waiting for this stream to try them, so this is all new to me. Uh, but it seems cool so far. Oh, life steal, that's nice. Alright. Yeah. No, these guys here. These little, um, I'm trying to think what I could compare them to. And slay the spire. I guess I don't know, like shivs, kind of. They're like really, they're zero cost, and he, when they die, they do certain effects to the guy in the back or whoever's behind him. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Would it be? Okay, Swizz. Uh, I there, there's I have two more factions to unlock, and then there's a bunch of cards, and I think there's like some kind of card mastery system. I'm not really sure how that works quite yet. Um, so there's there's a lot of content in this game. Seems like. Oh yeah, so that actually that was a that was a, a shitty move there because the, the first morsel got killed and it applied the effect to the morsel directly behind him, which I didn't want powered up. So that was kind of a bad play there. I gotta be careful about that. Yeah, they definitely took some. Uh, design, card designs from Hearthstone for sure. The way it looks. Okay, Gouda, thanks man. You have to win the game with every deck combo to complete the mastery. Got it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not even close. Oh yeah, so here's the thing. If you guys can see the score screen here, because my core took damage, they dock you percentage of your points. Um, so you kind of want to try to avoid that if possible, but it's just how it is. Oh, here we go. All right. So I think, um, yeah, yeah. So this is kind of cool. A shield and you get two uncommon or rare morsels in the hand. Lifesteal three. Ember Drain. I haven't seen Ember Drain, I don't think. So it costs zero and two? Is that yeah, that is? yeah. The, the, if, if, you, if you guys haven't played this game, the cost of the card is in the upper left. Gouda says Ember Drain sucks. Yeah, I was kind of looking at either Grovel or this, maybe this card. Perils of Production. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. The shield is pretty, pretty good. Oh, yeah, okay, I don't want that. Hmm. I guess I'll get this for later. I don't really have a... I don't have any tank units yet that can take a lot of damage, so that's not quite so useful. Oh, yeah, here's the thing. If you guys 
like in Slay the Spire, you get to pick your uh, which route you're, you're taking. In this, you just get two choices, and that's it. You can just go left or right. But for me, it's like, if I want a unit, I'd want to go uh, this way. Uh, well, actually, sorry, this is the, the Merchant of Steel is how you upgrade units, and then I would get a, a new Umbra unit, and then if I went this way, I could shop for spells and then get a uh, Awoken unit. Actually, I think I do want an, another Awoken unit, because there's a, a pretty big tank one that I would it'd be nice to have. Cheers, everybody. I hope you're, uh, you have a drink. You're joining me here. Yeah. If you do have a drink, let me know in the comments what you got. Doesn't have to be beer. All right, so let's first of all, let's make let's make uh, this spell cheaper for sure. Spin drift, nice. Uh, <laughs> spins. Well, okay, let's look at the deck here. What what card would I be okay in seeing it? Like maybe restore actually. Uh, I wouldn't be so sad if one of those uh, got boosted and then it just gets um, taken out. Scissor. Uh, I don't know. Double stack. Status effects are double. Shit, actually, uh, let's see. <laughs> this would be pretty powerful. All right, sweet. Yeah, see that this guy is kind of—he's a little bit of tank, but uh, she's got quick, which is could be handy. But I think, I think this guy with the combo of that uh, healing spell I got will be pretty good. So we'll take that guy. I and mean, then sweep's pretty good. Sweep means they attack every enemy on the train car, so that's pretty handy to have. Cheers, everybody. I'm not sure, K-Swizz. I usually put my champion on the bottom. It just depends on what kind of uh, combos I can make. And sometimes I put the, the tank guys up on the third level, the one right before the end of the car, so that if any of them slip through, they don't really make it to the core. So I'm going to go do this trial for a new unit. I think that's worth... They have 10 armor, so I, I think... I think that's going to be... Oh, they have spikes, too, so that's... I don't know. This could backfire, but whatever. I, I want the unit, so I'm going to go for it. <laughs> this might be terrible. I don't know. All right. You know what? I might actually put him... Maybe I will put him on the first floor. Because he has sweep, which is great. And, uh... I'm going to see if we can... Actually, I just wasted that morsel. I, I shouldn't have played that. It's not really going to do anything for me, but oh well. That's okay. It uh, it stopped a hit to my be my beefier dude, so... Not a total waste. All right, so, um, huh. I'm kind of thinking, let's just put these guys up here for now. They're, they're not gonna be able to kill this cherub dude, but, uh, um, actually, yeah, let's do this guy down here. That'll be nice. Throw some uh, regen on these guys, good to go. You guys like that Nelson laugh with a little cherub? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, man. Okay, so let's do this. Sacrifice you. Holy shit. Right on, man. What you drinking, Dr. Cresp? What you got, man?
Oh yeah, wine. Wine's fine. I like wine. Oh yeah. Uh, anybody who joined late, we're drinking clown shoes. A beer called Hammer of the Holy from 20, 2018, and it's a Imperial Stout Asian Rum Barrels, and it's pretty damn good, actually. T's drinking with me. She's helping me out, Help, helping me run the stream. That's yeah. That's all right. We we killed it. Um. Oh, I, is Malfunct on? Malfunct, you there, bud? If if Malfunct isn't there, um, I owe Malfunct a lot of gratitude for. Uh, he's helped me a lot with this stream setup. He lo he loaned me his gear and everything. So uh, Malfunct. You're the man, dude. I hope you're on. I don't know if you're on or not, but uh, you all go follow Malfunct on Twitch. He's a streamer, too. And he's he's been helping me out a lot, so he deserves some props. Gouda. Rum barrel means this beer was aged in rum barrels. Probably for like a year or so. Let's see. It was aged in rum barrels for eight months. So that the, the beer... Uh, takes on a lot of the flavor from the barrel, from the spirit. So that's when I, I drink a lot of bourbon barrel, rum barrel uh, beers uh, because I really like the flavors they offer. I you don't love rum. Well, rum is tricky because rum will overtake a lot of beers, but this one's really good. So, um, yeah, I think I think with two years on it, uh, a lot of the heat of the alcohol. Uh, um, probably is a lot more chilled out, so it's a little more easy drinking. Tastes better. All right. Oh yeah, so that guy got up to my core, but he didn't have he doesn't have attack power. He's just like a shield unit. So uh, I don't get penalized for that, which is pretty nice. Okay, so <laughs> Dr. Cresp, I know you're a big rum guy, so forgive me, but, uh... Gouda, what do you mean by a market? Like, like, did I put the beer in a barrel? Holy shit. Oh yeah, the breweries, they buy the barrels from uh, distilleries and spirit. Everybody, you know, the, the distilleries that are making the spirits, they buy them from there. When they, uh, when the distilleries empty the spirit out of the barrel, they can't reuse them, but the breweries want them with the, with the spirit. All the spirit alcohol and all the flavors from the spirits are in the wood. Uh, shit. Okay, so th this is the last wave, and here's the boss. Um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to decide what to do, how best to uh, optimize this. And she's gonna get through to my core, and I'm just like looking at can I do anything to stop her? Um, I don't know. Shit, I don't know if there's anything I can do. I think he said, oh shit, because this, because yeah. of my, my uh, predicament here. Yeah. yeah, I see the vine grip. Um. <laughs> I think they want you to drink, Wizzle. I know. I could, okay, wait a minute. If I can do, all right, so these guys would do 10 damage. That's still not enough. Uh. Even yeah, so she's gonna get through no matter what. It would mean that they get one less hit on the core though, so I think I'm gonna do that anyway. So she'll have nine health. This will do twenty damage. Oh, well, I guess it didn't matter with twenty, but that's fine. Let's just uh, I'll just throw this guy up there. Um, get him, get him healed up. 
That's all I can do. Boom. Kick his ass, sea bass. Yeah, you guys like his, like, Iron Maiden cage? That's kind of cool, right? It's pretty funny. <laughs> so, he's still got a lot of health. Um, oh, man, I, I really wish I had this last round, but oh well. So, we'll just straight up vine grip him. Uh, we need to... We need to see what kind of... Uh, yeah... All right, let's throw this guy out there. Um, shit, I wish... Uh, nope, nothing I can heal. Shit, all right, well... Yeah, since this guy's the the final boss of this, of this wave, um, he keeps attacking, and, he, and you can see he's freezing the floors below as he advances, and he just, he'll keep attacking until he kills everything on that floor. Uh, okay, cool, so I can, uh, let's do this, and then cannibalize him, and I get my energy back, so that's nice. And then we get, uh, we get some stuff here. So I'll play this to expand my capacity. Um, cannibalize means you kill this morsel, but when they get killed, they, you, this benefit applies to the unit behind them. So I would think... Um, let's go do this guy. And then I'm going to take him... Or um, rather... Shit. Uh, I didn't realize I, I didn't have another um, sacrifice, so that kind of sucks. But what I could probably do is... Let's put this guy in between. So there we go. Um, and that should be, wait, what's this guy going to get? He's going to get life steal. So I'll get, the, or I'll put a restore on this dude here. <laughs> it, it's, it's the second combat. So my deck is not, um, very good yet. That's true. I'll admit to that. Ah, but that's all right. It's early in the game. My core can take a little bit more damage. I'm not happy about it, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. But I did beat him, so I got my... I'm gonna get another unit now, so hopefully my deck will improve a little bit. Okay, wow. Um, shit. Packed Morsels is pretty good. Primal Dusk, apply 1x damage shield. I think... what? Oh yeah, I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna take the packed morsels, man. That's a zero cost spell, and you get three of those little dudes. Yeah, I think that's the that's the call there. And then uh, see, glimmer's pretty nice. Um, <laughs> replace the exclamation point with a question mark after victory. You know what? If I die like midway through this run, I'm gonna agree with you 100%. Uh, this is, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take Glimmer. Um, it's not free, but it damages. Oh, here's the guy I was thinking about. The tank I was talking about earlier. See, this is the guy. When you summon him, he gains 60 health, and if you keep healing him, he just gets stronger. So uh, I like this card a lot. I've not seen Morsel Master before though. So let's see. Hang on a second. Uh, holy shit. See, the morsels, I feel like having too many of them is not super helpful. I'm going to take this dude. I like that card. Cheers, everybody. Hope you got a good drink with you. Okay, so uh, here are my choices now. I can duplicate a card. Um... I can upgrade my units, but if I go this route, I can actually—I'll hear my—I'll heal my pyre. 
which I kind of need to do. Hey, K Swizzle, thanks, man. Cheers, butter. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I forgot how late it was for you, bud. We'll do the next one earlier. This was kind of a spur of the moment decision yesterday, so uh, future streams will be earlier in the day for sure. So basically, I can get I can get a, a card duplicated and then heal my pyre up, which I think I'm gonna need to do here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And let's find let's find a card. Oh, I didn't realize I had two vine grasps already. So really, really, I think um, I think Cannibalize is a badass card, and I've only got one of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that card and uh, heal my pyre up. Bam! So that's uh, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Later, K Swizz. Thanks for joining, man. Um, oh, I haven't seen this event before. Oh yeah, the, by the way, there's events like in Slay the Spire where you can have random, kind of like random events that sometimes can benefit you, sometimes they hurt you, so. So the winged are the angels that you fight in this game, so let's see. I think. Okay, so, uh... You see the tent before you... I guess that's a typo? You see the tent before you... S oh, you see the tent before you see the winged hided near it. You prepare for a fight. Mercy, please. I mean no harm. I was left here by my so-called people. Bah, traitors, all of them. And they didn't even leave me with anything to defend myself. The Gaul, turns out this fight isn't as clear as we once thought. Perhaps you Hellborn can provide me with a more generous... Oh, can prove more generous than our friends above. I promise to give it back later in perfect condition. Okay, so I'm giving him a card out of my deck. Or, sorry, uh, I could purge a unit and get an upgraded version later. Or purge a spell. I'll tell you what. Um... I might want to give him a spell, actually. Although the train stewards are pretty worthless. I'll give a train steward, yeah. There you go. Let's take that guy. Alright. Next battle. Let's go. Oh, okay, so this guy's like a mini-boss. Uh, he's kind of a, annoying. And uh, he does this barrel thing. You guys will see. Um, it's a pain in the ass. <coughs> yeah. All right, so... This guy's flying around, and he changes floors every turn. And he puts these bombs down. And so if you put any units out here, these bombs detonate. And will basically just kill your units, so it's a real pain in the ass. Um, okay, so I'm thinking... Well, first of all, let's do that. So we're gonna get my... our champion out there. And then we're gonna get this tank. He'll take all the... all the damage. Alright, so let's go. We're gonna do... Uh... Hmm... I think I'm gonna do... This let's get extra attack on our champion. Cannibalize him. Still have four energy. Wow. Um, oh yeah, so we gotta definitely heal him up because he gets more attack that way. So yeah, that's nice. Put them out. Uh, let's just go ahead and boost. Oh, so, oh, the floor is full. I can't put any more guys out there. Okay, that's it. Kill them! Alright. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, this is nice. Definitely want to use this. Bam! So I healed him. I healed him for 10, but it does 5 times that damage. 
to the front unit, so took that unit out very nicely. Um, I don't want to put this guy here because the bomb will wipe him out, so I'll put him up here. And then I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the... Well, hold on a second. I need to heal that guy up. Let's go ahead and heal him. I kind of thought about doing uh, my Grovel spell on this guy, but uh, hopefully... Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the ass since I healed the guy instead, this guy down here. After all, he is my tank, and healing him makes him stronger, so it seems worthwhile. Man, we're gonna have to get the next beer pretty soon. Okay, shit, this sucks. Now, I don't have, um... Oh, I don't have a, uh... Shit. Alright, this is a problem. Um, the bomb's gonna explode. I guess it won't kill anybody. It's not a big deal. Playing these guys will do nothing for me if I can't sacrifice them. So let's just plop these guys out. Um, yeah, I can't do shit. See Damn, that sucks. Oh, it only hit the front guy, the bomb. I thought it hit all the um, all your units on the train car. Okay, so well, I gotta deal with the bomb, so get rid of that. And then actually, oh, this is nice. So let's go ahead and heal these guys, and it'll wipe out all the units. So that's good. And then all right, so this one I have to deal with here. Um, I don't have any morsels to cannibalize, so that kind of sucks. But I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and expand that floor. Um, and that's the next thing that's all I can do. Cheers, everybody! I did get a couple hits off on the boss, so that's nice. Oh, the the train? Yeah. yeah, the train never stops. It's like a snowpiercer or whatever. It just keeps keeps going. Um, oh yeah, so let's see. I'm I, oh shit, I don't have a. I really see this is where I, I want um, sacrifice, and I don't have it. So that sucks. But knowing that the bomb only damages the front unit, that is something I was not aware of, and so that's actually a good thing in this case with these morsels. You don't care if the bomb gets them, because they're going to just make these dudes stronger behind them, so that's nice. Um, I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and put Lifesteal there. Uh, and then... I well, let's see. What if we... I'm going to put a, another train steward here. Why not? Just another l little buffer layer. Although, hes I, I kind of screwed that up because I wanted this guy to get healed, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, Alright, that's good. Well, she's going to get through, so that's annoying. Oh, yeah, so it fires two shots, so I guess each shot hits a unit. Like, it makes sense. Alright, I feel, I feel pretty good about this. I'm not worried about the... Okay, so now he's he's actually going to move through the cars now, so I need to start damaging him. So let's say... Let's say we put this guy out and then cannibalize him. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do Glimmer on this floor so that I can heal my tank. He's still going to die, but at least he's a little more... Um, Oh yeah, I can sacrifice. Let's say, let's do this guy here, and then sacrifice him. Oh no, I'm 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 not sacrificing. I'm just uh, mixing that up. Let's do uh, yeah, put him there, uh, and then we'll put we'll put yeah, we'll put this guy here. So then uh, let's see what happens. Boom! All right. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, wait a minute. So I guess if they get killed, they're not eaten. They're just killed. So they don't give any benefit. So I, I've been playing that completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Being good at the rules. Cheers to that. Well, straight up, I can tell you right now. I'm definitely going to do my... Actually, you know what? I'm thinking, actually, I want to put the shield on that guy. Because this guy ain't worth shit. So I'm going to go ahead and... Might as well heal him, too. And then we'll do our vine grass on them. Um, you know what? Why not? And so he's going to hit him. Yeah, so, I mean, putting him in front of... If this guy would kill him instantly, so there's no reason to play him there. I kind of like life steals. So I'll put that guy there. And then I can play... Just to slow him down a little bit more, I'll go ahead and play another steward here. And then we'll do... One between them, so I'll actually get the benefit. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, he's not going to eat him. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. Didn't really help that much, but <laughs> at least I played him in the right order this time. Oh, uh, here we go. Well, actually, it's only going to heal him one, so that's not worth playing. Actually, tell you what, I am going to play this one, and then I'll play this one in front of him. This guy will get killed, but then he'll have a chance to eat this one, and then he'll get the, the benefit there. I might as well just do this, because I can afford it. It just didn't do much damage, but whatever. Alright, that's all I can do. Cheers! I don't know. I'm. This doesn't look good. I think I might have lost. Certainly did, yeah. You got me. <laughs> Only three, three floors down. So that's. That might have been like my worst run since getting this game, not even joking. But I was playing a new, f in my defense, I was playing a new faction, and I don't think there's much much synergy between Umbra and Awoken. Dr. Crespi, you called it. At, at least not that I've seen yet. I'm sure maybe later there's going to be something to figure out there. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed Monster Train. I sure did. If you have a moment, like, subscribe, and leave a comment on the video. It helps me out a lot. Help me grow my channel. Help me do newer games and more exciting games. Do more streaming. Just keep the keep the train rolling, you know? So if you guys can do that, it would help me out a lot. And uh, tell your buddies about my channel if they're into beer, if they're into games, you know, and just want something relaxing to watch, uh, send them my way. So hope to see you for the next one. Cheers.